Hi, my name is Alessandro Gangelosi and that's a, a video tutorial coming from cgcookie.com for Max Cookie. This time I like to create a really simple uh, tip video and I'm talking about something we done uh, pre, uh, on a previous video using a, a final render and it was how to use the micro triangle displacement. And I like to see the same stuff done with array so we'll see that we can do the same thing using array and it's really really fast to give our uh, best result. So I open the uh, material editor but before we have to set the rendering engine for uh, 3ds Max and we'll go to set array render for the production and we'll set mental array for the material editor to be just to be faster because array can be really slow to be used also in the material editor so we create uh, let's call it MTD sorry uh, MTD material and we use an arc on the sign because we have to use this kind of material with array okay uh, now let's remove the reflection and we need to use a bitmap and the bitmap we used last time was this one this diffuse and we can see it and uh, let's say that we'll have some tiling so we can see it there and let's say that we have no uh, blurring okay um, if we try to render this one let's try using a 450 and we have there set to one minute and we have there uh, the displacement set to on and the physically correct uh, let's try to render and you see that's our render let's go there and let's use a daylight okay and we can set to mental ray sun and mental ray sky yes and we have to set the day and time let's say maybe uh, 10 or maybe 9 30 uh, okay let's see how it looks okay that's our basic render cancel <coughs> sorry and I like now to add also the depth of field so we can select this one and you can see how it is r really really simple to work with array let's say depth of field meant array and then let's say that the focus will be there let's see what happen if we try to render okay we have depth of field there and depth of field there maybe we can have it a little bit higher so let's go there or maybe we can change it a little bit let's see with one for the f stop if we like it more and it's a little bit better so let's go with this one cancel and then let's go uh, on the shader and we can set it to use uh, the displacement so we can go there and we can choose the bump map we used before and for the moment let's leave without and we can add a little bit of reflectivity really really low with a really really high level of glossiness just to give a little bit of more realism to the shader it must be uh, also controlled by a map but we have no map actually so it's better to do a, a really simple thing and then we have to add the uh, the displacement let's see uh, with a really low value 0 0.2 it's creating the baking and it's really really high you can see it um, let's go to 0 0.1 or maybe 0 0.05 okay it is better but now we have to work 
on the quality so we can start playing a little bit with the polygons we have inside the scene so you see we we start to have more detail but we have also to change uh, the tiling we have to set to 3, 3, 3 ok and let's see how it looks and we need for sure a lot more polygons to create, but you see that we start to see something. Okay, uh, so uh, let's go inside the rendering, and we have there the possibility to say that we like to have 64,000 subdivision, so it will be a little bit slower to create the mesh, but we'll have more polygons. Now you see that we have uh, our main problem that's due to the resolution of the map. Uh, in the previous test we uh, tried to uh, go there, uh, enter inside the map, and we tried for example to use a really, uh, you see, a really blurred version. Let's see what happens if we try to do this thing. you see that we have still the tails and that's why uh, that's because we have no control over the blurring for eye ray so the thing we can do is to go inside uh, I use combustion I have to set the resolution there so let's say monitors uh, let's say 1000 Okay, close, close, and I can restart. Okay, so what we can do is to open the file. Uh, you can do this thing using, for example, uh, every kind of uh, 2D software. You see, that's our map, and we have a lot of detail. I select the map operators, and let's go for a Gaussian blur. And let's see if, for example, something like that can be enough. So save image, save image. Let's say .jpg, and I save it in the same folder. Okay, and I call it this place blur. Let's go back in 3ds Max. And let's try to open the other map. And we can set to one, it's not a problem. And let's try to render. And you see that now we have no problem with the blurring. So uh, let's do a little thing. Uh, let's select the camera and let's set the depth of field to 1.5 just to have a little bit less depth of field and I like to use uh, the previous map we used for the displacement as bumping and we can leave with no blur, it's not a problem but it's useful for mental ray uh, let's remove this one and let's see what happens if we have just the bumping okay it start to be visible and then we add again also the displacement and let's see how it looks and you see that we are starting to have something more interesting let's go there and let's try to have a higher level of displacement obviously the map must be prepare it to be a displacement map but for the moment we are trying to use the one we have there uh, let's see if we have more polygons still more polygons there and we can just pick this one and let's say 80 and 80 and this be this will be a really huge amount of polygons to create our final mesh 
you see that it is taking a little bit of time to create the displaced version now it is ready and you see that it is working I think that we can uh, remove a little bit of detail so we can go with more blurring you see something like that so save image and again back overwrite the old file back on 3ds max is the right one but to be sure reload and render and let's see what happened we have to wait until the preparation of the mesh is is done okay and you see that now it is uh, better for sure perfect okay so I'd like to go uh, there and we can set the daylight in a different way just to have a better illumination let's see what happens for example if we have something like that let's wait okay that's ready and you see that we have a lot of detail over the ground cancel and I think we can go there and we can have also an higher level of bump let's see for example with 1.0 let's remove the displacement to be faster okay we have a lot of detail but we have to change the tiling so you see that now the tail are more like the environment um, let's go sorry let's go in the exposure control and let's go for a physical daylight cancel and I like to go more for 250 highest speed okay that's better and let's go for a little bit of begin acting let's try with 25 you can see the viewport and the viewport it seems not bad there it is a little bit too much let's try with 15 okay so let's set again back the displacement okay and we'll have our image we can see the final result together at low res and I rendered the high res for the tutorial publishing so let's wait now it is uh, creating the uh, the map okay and you see that's what the result we have and we have a lot of detail just created using the map so let's stop the rendering and that's our result so uh, for the moment that's all and I hope to see you back on Max Cookie to check for new tutorial coming from cgcookie.com bye